Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this colorful bracelet. When I show you how to make these cute elements, you will be able to make rings and uh, to make earrings and whatever you like. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and check out my next upcoming videos. And if you want to support me and make me do more tutorials, please like, share and comment and I will answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you decide to make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. So now I'm going to start. So for this video, what I'm going to use are four colors of 11 o seed beads, a clasp, here I use a magnetic one, and I will need size 10 beading needle, scissors, and here I use monofilament, which is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, and I use flat nose pliers. And in order to make one element, I need about half an arm span of thread, so I'll take it I'll squeeze my monofilament with my pliers and it, it will easily go through size 10 beading needle. So now I'm going to start. Ok guys, and now I took my half an arm span of thread and I'm going to start by taking 8 of these beautiful orange seed beads. Ok, and I have my 8 on my needle. And now I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot. Okay, and I will make a surgeon's knot. This means that when I make my loop, I will go two times through that loop with my tail thread. Okay, and then I'm going to pull. Okay, and now this is what you have here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reinforce this circle one more time. So I'm going in this direction, reinforcing my circle bit here. Ok, and now I'm exiting here, I think, two beads after my tail thread. Ok, let me focus. And now I'm gonna start my next row. And for my next row I will need red seed bead, blue seed bead and then again red seed bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And now I will go in circle through these beads. So my thread is exiting out of here and I'm going back in circle through the same bead and I'm adding three beads, three colorful beads. Red, blue, red. Okay, now I have this. And now I'm going to exit here after my next orange bead and I'm going to add red and blue bead. Here are they and I'm going in this red one. Why I'm not adding three beads here? Because here I have already one red bead added and my two elements share this red bead here. Okay? And after that I'm going through this bead and through the one that follows. So if you can do it in one movement, if you can't do it in two movements, whatever you like. Okay, and then I'm taking two more beads, uh, red and blue, and then I'm going through the next two seed beads. Okay, and then I'm, pu I'm pulling, and now this is what I have. Now I need to take again red and blue one. 
and I have them here on my needle. And what I do is that I go through this red one and through the next two beads here, okay? And now I have this, okay? Okay guys, and I will continue doing this and when I come up to the last step where I connect and finish my row, I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm here and I'm adding almost my last beads here. So I'm exiting out of this bead and here for my last step, I should go through this uh, red bead here. And here you see what I have. I have two reds surrounding my orange and I need to add one more blue bead in order to finish my circle here. Okay, I'm pulling and now I have this beautiful circle of beads. Ne next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through this red bead and through the following blue one just like that and here I will take yellow beads and I will surround this row with yellows two yellow beads and I'm going through my next blue one then again two yellows I'm going through the blue one just like that and I will repeat this until the end of this row okay and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay and now I'm up to my last step where I'm adding these two yellow beads and my row is ready in my next step I'm going to add blue beads here next to these blue beads and in this row I'm adding only blue beads okay I'm taking one blue bead and I'm going through these two yellow beads and then I take one more I'm going through the next two yellows and I will continue doing this until the end of my row and when I'm ready with my row, I will be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last blue bead. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to my next row. I'm making a step up and going here, repositioning my thread to start my next row. And for my next row, I'm going to need yellow, red, and then again yellow. This is what I have on my needle. Okay, and I'm going through this blue one. And I'm pulling. And then again, yellow, red, and yellow and I'm going through the next bead here in circle okay and again yellow red and yellow and I'm going here through the next one okay and I will continue doing this until the end of this row and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay, and now I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm gonna continue in my next row. Okay, I'm going through those two beads and I'm starting to add again blue beads that are uh, the splitters between my flowers here. I just want to tell you something. The first element I did was this one. And then, uh, after a while, I saw a pattern, a flower pattern in it. And I decided to, to use this pattern for this project. 
so you could do whatever you like uh, so many different uh, variations of this uh, pattern here okay here for the ring see what I did so do whatever you like I like this flower pattern so I will continue with it and I will add blue beads in my next row I'm adding blue beads here like I did in my previous rows and I'm expanding my element here and by the way you could expand it as many rows as you want uh, here I'm finishing this after the flowers but you could do so many rows so here you start with splitters and two beads then again splitters and three beads splitters and one two three four beads and you could continue splitters and five beads but I decided to finish it up to here and um, you could expand it more and uh, make a center of a necklace with a bigger element and then surround it with smaller elements and make a v-shape uh, necklace or a bigger earrings whatever you like and if you make uh, beautiful stuff uh, please share them on my facebook page because i'm so curious to see what your imagination did okay and when i finish with this row i will be back to show you what's coming up next okay and i just finished this row and now what i want to add is a blue one and then two yellows and then a blue one and this is what I have on my needle and I'm going through those two to the next uh, bit that's sticking up and I need one blue two yellows and then again one blue bead I have them on my needle and I'm going through the next bead Okay, just like that and I will continue this row and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay and I'm here where I'm adding my last row and I'm going through the next blue bead as well and I want to reach here after this blue bead here and now I'm going to finish my circle here my element as I said, you could add here blue beads and add another row, but I prefer to, to finish this up to here. So I'm, I will add my final beads and I will take orange, red and again orange. And this is what I have on my needle and I'm going through the next four beads. And then I need orange, red and orange and also I'm gonna go through the next bit okay and I'm gonna continue doing this and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you how I'm finishing my element and I'm making my knots okay and here I'm adding my last beads okay I'm fixing them a little bit and now what I want to do is to make some knots and I'm making them by making a loop and then going once and two times through that loop and I'm going to pull and then continue doing more and more knots and when you're ready go through the next bead and then cut your thread and uh, uh, I will be back in a while to show you how to turn these elements into a bracelet. Okay guys, and when you change patterns, you could make uh, different elements and uh, uh, you could alterate them to make different jewelries. Okay, mm, let's say we did these elements. What could we do with them? It's a good idea uh, to make, uh, let's say, uh, necklace and combine them like this or like this or you could make a ring or you could also decide to make uh, earrings with different pattern 
everything is the same that just when you change colors uh, let's say here the flowers are red here they are yellow and here they are blue uh, something different will appear at the end okay so now I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet okay and in order to make a bracelet uh, here I'm taking about an arm span of thread I think probably half an arm span will be enough but I prefer to take more uh, okay so I'm going through one bead here I'm taking my first element and I'm going here through this bead and I'm pulling then I'm going to make a loop here and I'm going once and then I'm going twice through that loop I just made and I will make sure my thread is between those two beads where I started it from and I'm going to pull then what I want to do is exit here at the end of my element so I'm going through these two beads here through the orange one and through the red one okay just like that and now I want to attach my clasp so I'm going to take two beads slide them down then I will take my clasp this is a magnetic clasp I'm using you could use any regular clasp you like and then I will take two more beads and I will go in circle around them and here is how I attach my clasp okay and now I'm going to reinforce this clasp here and I'll be back and now I have my clasp attached I went four times around those beads here just to be sure that it will be secure and I'm going through some beads and what I want to do is reach exactly the opposite side of my element and when I do this I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and I reached this end here and now I want to attach my next element and in order to attach it I will take a red bead and I have it on my needle here and I'm going back through this bit so I'm exiting out of this one and I'm going back through this one and when I pull this is what I have and I need one more red bead and I have it on my needle here and I'm going back in circle making a right angle weave between my elements now I'm going to reinforce it come up to here attach my next element the same way and when my bracelet is ready I'll be back to show you how it looks okay guys and now my bracelet is ready if you like it and you wanna make me continue doing videos Please subscribe, like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.